This video presentation details best practices as it pertains to installing a Calyx ONT in a non-temperature controlled environment. The first of a three-part series, this episode covers enclosure mounting, grounding, and fiber optic cable preparation prior to splicing. In this initial video, we will focus on the physical installation of the enclosure, routing of the fiber optic drop cable, ground wiring, securing the riser pipe, grounding of the fiber optic cable, and preparing the fiber optic cable for splicing. Locate the enclosure in close proximity to earth ground wiring and or the incoming fiber optic drop cable. Using fasteners appropriate to the material you are attaching to, mount the enclosure at a convenient working height. In extremely warm environments, Calyx recommends installing the unit in a shaded location with minimal direct sunlight exposure. In this configuration, the fiber and ground wire enter the enclosure encased in a riser pipe. Before inserting the riser into the enclosure, cut an X into the grommet so the riser pipe will seal around the grommet. Cut the X slightly smaller than the riser pipe to ensure a snug fit. Begin by threading the number six solid copper ground wire and the incoming fiber drop cable up from the ground and through the riser pipe. Leave enough exposed wire on the top end to allow for wire stripping and fiber fusion splicing. Slip the cut grommet over the wire ends and test fit the riser into the grommet channel to ensure proper fit and that the opposite end of the riser will end up below final grade. Before securing the riser to the side of the building, slip a cable tie through the provided slots in the rear of the enclosure. This will be used in a moment to secure the riser pipe. With the riser pipe positioned at the enclosure, secure the riser pipe to the side of the building using an appropriately sized pipe clamp and fasteners suitable to the material you are penetrating. Position the clamp about one third of the way up the riser to allow for repositioning of the riser on the top end during composite cable preparation. The upper riser will be secured to the enclosure in a later step. For continued trouble-free operation, the Calyx Outdoor ONT must be grounded. For single-family homes, a copper earth ground must be buried a minimum of three feet into the ground within 50 feet of the enclosure. A dielectric coupler should be placed over the ground rod for attaching ground wires feeding additional equipment. Per the National Electrical Code, Calyx recommends using a number six gauge copper wire, either stranded or solid, with or without a shield. In the case of new construction, note that connections at the earth ground rod must be made prior to achieving final grade from a landscaping perspective. If an earth ground is present in an existing installation, you may have to locate the ground rod using appropriate locator equipment before proceeding. Pre-measure the number six ground wire to ensure proper length and attach one end to the earth ground's dielectric coupler. Tighten the coupler until snug. Route the ground wire below grade towards the side of the building, stringing the ground wire up next to the riser pipe and then poking the wire end through the small grommet directly below the ground lug. Slip the ground wire into the ground lug and tighten securely. This illustration shows an exploded view of the grounding assembly inside the enclosure. It is absolutely critical that you maintain the correct order of components within this assembly to ensure that when closed, the ONT electronics are seated firmly over the ground screw post and that the captive fastener located on the electronics module can be tightened without flexing the board. For installations where the ground wire is routed through the riser pipe, perform the same basic steps as above. However, you may need to strip the insulation off the ground wire and then bend the wire before inserting into the ground lug. The ground wire will be attached in a later step after grounding of the fiber optic cable is complete. In this installation, the fiber composite cable includes a metal shield inside the outer casing, four strands of fiber inside a white buffer tube, Kevlar strands that further protect the buffer tube, as well as rip cords that are used in removing the outer jacket. The metal shield will be prepped and attached to the earth ground using a grounding clamp that will be fastened to the ground bracket. 
before beginning this procedure, install a cable tie over the composite cable to act as an indicator of how far you want to strip back the outer jacket. Grasp the riser pipe and position it such that it rests on the outer edge of the enclosure. This ensures that the fiber composite cable can be manipulated without exceeding the manufacturer's bend radius specifications. Remove about three inches of outer jacket, exposing the two rip cords. Using a pliers, firmly grasp one of the rip cords and pull the cord down. This will tear the outer jacket, allowing for easy removal. Continue ripping until the cords reach the cable tie installed previously. Peel back the outer jacket, exposing the metal shield, Kevlar strands, and buffer tube. Trim off the outer jacket and metal shield to within a couple of inches of the cable tie. The grounding clamp mentioned previously will be slipped under the outer jacket and metal shield, creating a bond between the shield and the clamp. Carefully separate the Kevlar strands from the buffer tube, trim, and discard the strands. Loosen the nut on the grounding clamp and slip the grounding clamp inside the outer jacket with the metal shield positioned on the inside of the clamp. Install the nut onto the threaded post of the ground clamp and tighten using a can wrench. Snip off the rip cords and remove the cable tie previously installed. The graphic shown here details an exploded view of the grounding clamp. Note that the clamp slips inside the outer jacket between the jacket and the metal shield. With the ground clamp tightened onto the composite cable, wrap the cable end with electrical tape to provide added strength and protection for the cable end. Install the outer ground clamp nut onto the ground clamp assembly. Next, grasp the riser pipe and slip the grommet into the slots in the enclosure. Once seated, close the cable tie around the riser pipe and cinch tight. Next, slip the ground clamp behind the grounding assembly with the outer nut located on the outside of the assembly as shown. Finally, attach the ground wire to the ground stud on the grounding assembly and tighten. This concludes part one of installing Calyx outdoor ONTs. In part two, we'll provide detailed instructions on fiber fusion splicing and how to minimize optical loss using industry best practices.